Hey there, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. As we crawl towards winter solstice, you may be wanting something green in your life if you don't have a garden planted outside. Microgreens are the answer to that. Microgreens usually come in a bigger bag than most seed packets, and the reason is because we're going to be sowing them more thickly in soil. The reason why I like microgreens better than sprouts is because sprouts need a lot of tending to. They are grown without soil, usually in a jar or a flat, you know, sieve kind of container, and you have to rinse them several times a day, and there's the higher possibility of getting E. coli, salmonella, and a couple of other things. But in soil, if you've, you know, using a fresh potting mix, that risk goes way down, plus you're growing in soil, you're just watering the soil on a daily basis until they germinate, and then boom, you've got microgreens. Life is good. So I really like growing in soil. It's something you can do pretty easily, and uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You can use something smaller than a seed flat like I have here. You can use little uh, containers that your fruit berries come in, you know, those have natural drainage. You can fill those with, with a couple inches of soil, and you're on your way. But for a bigger production in a small space, these seed flats are really great for that. What I've done is I put a layer of newspaper on the bottom so that I can move this really easily. It's usually pretty easy to come by these seed flats from nurseries. If you're buying, if you have bought anything over the spring and summer growing season, you may have one of these lying around. Optimally, not so much this seed flat, but the ones that look like this are gonna work better for this exercise. Either way, you may wanna line the bottom with either some newspaper. Uh, I like to use old seed catalogs because they're on newsprint and fill it with soil. One or two inches is all you need, and then you're ready to go. If you're looking for a continuous supply of microgreens all season long, you may want to sow in strips. You know, divide this maybe into three or four strips, and sow one week one, week two, week three, week four. And then when these finish up, you can reseed these almost immediately and keep it going in succession. Ah, a word about microgreens. Once you harvest them, they do not grow back. All right, I'm going to seed this flat as thickly as possible because I want to have a lot of microgreens growing in one space. And you may need to shake up the bag because some of the seeds are heavier than others, so they sink to the bottom. And the idea is to cover every square inch with a good amount of seeds. Some of the seed packets will say sprinkle a half inch to a quarter inch to a half inch apart. I want more than that, so I'm going to seed thickly. And when you're done seeding, you just want to cover it with soil, just barely. You don't want to cover it more than a, an eighth to a quarter inch of soil. Now all that's left to do is water and wait. Water every day and wait for them to sprout. Ta-da! And through the magic of television, we've jumped ahead in time three weeks and these are ready to harvest. You'll notice that there are some uh, little babies that are still very young. I'm going to cut above those so that those will still keep growing. And then I can seed this space for a whole other set of greens that will start kind of growing a little bit behind these little babies that are here. I'm going to use, uh, I got these pruning shears from Dram. They sent them to me and they have a purple handle, which I love. So I'm going to use these. And basically, I'm just going to grab a handful and snip right across the top. And you can use kitchen shears or garden pruners, whatever you like, and drop them into a container. And I'm not going to harvest this entire thing, just going to take maybe a section of this to throw into a meal for this evening. And these guys are fresh and delightful and homegrown and organic and virtually free basically so now that I've now that I've removed this top section these little babies that remain are going to continue to grow for some people who don't have enough room to do something this big 
I just received a trial uh, product that I'm really kind of excited about. It's a women-owned business uh, called Knowing Nature, and it's a microgreens kit that fits on your windowsill. So the idea is this reusable tray, it's recyclable and reusable, um, it's just wide enough to fit on your windowsill. It has a bottom tray for water and then a perforated tray for holding the soil and the seeds. And you use these little discs or you can use regular soil, put them in there, wet them down. And it also comes with three different types of seeds that you can grow for microgreens. When you're ready, you know, once you've harvested, you just dump them out into the green bin or your compost bin, break up some more soil and plant them again. So I thought that was a really good idea and I love supporting women-owned businesses like my own. And uh, so there are a couple different options for you to grow microgreens either in a bigger scale like this or a small windowsill scale like that. Either way, you're gonna end up with some delicious microgreens that you can put in salads and meals and just snack on. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to find out when our next video comes online. And I'm gonna choke on this. And consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. You'll find information on growing lots of veggies if you have more room in Gardening for Geeks. And if you wanna grow fruit, grow, grow your own mini fruit garden is the book for you. And of course, check out my novel, Garden Variety. Happy gardening, everyone.